In the midst of his Ash Money trial conviction, legal experts are emphasizing that former President Donald Trump's recent comments and social media posts have potentially violated a gag order imposed on him by Judge Juan Merchant. The former president who was convicted on May 30 of 34 counts of falsifying business records told Newsmax that he was concerned by the jury in his New York trial. Trump told the outlet, Mother Teresa couldn't get a fair trial here, I've said that. I never saw a glimmer of a smile from the jury. This was a venue that was very unfair, a tiny fraction of the people are Republicans. And it's very unfair, and then we had a judge who was very unfair, he continued. Mia's Touch shared a clip of Trump's Newsmax interview on X, formerly known as Twitter, where several users took to the comments to ridicule a former president for potentially violating his gag order and risking being locked up. One user shared the clip in a post that read, please tell me this violates his gag order. It would be so funny if he basically got to the finish line only for them to lock him up until July when he's sentenced. Another person commented, it's going to be great when he's gagged through the appeal. A third person wrote, I'm on pins and needles wondering what Judge Merchant is going to do in the sentencing phase. All H is probably going to break loose, but I'll be here waiting for the fireworks. Trump also made posts about the jury on Truth Social, breaching the gag order prohibiting him from making public comments about the trial's participants. In response to Trump's post, speaking on Meta's Touches Legal AF podcast, Karen Friedman Agnifilo, a legal analyst and former Manhattan chief assistant district attorney, said, I think the judge is going to go rip ass because you cannot say anything like that about a juror. Over the past few days, there has been uncertainty about whether the gag order is still valid. The ex-pres appeared to believe so, telling reporters on Friday, May 31st, I'm under a gag order, nasty gag order. I'm not allowed to use his name because of the gag order, referring to his former fixer and criminal witness Michael Cohen. Trump's lawyer Todd Blanche told outlets that he did not think the order should apply anymore now that the trial was over, but he doesn't know for sure when it would be lifted. It's a little bit of the theater of the absurd at this point, right? Blanche said. He continued, the same thing with all the other witnesses. So we'll see. I don't mean that in any way as being disrespectful of the judge in the process. I just want to be careful and understand when it no longer applies.